You're listening to Saturday Morning Media. And now, back to our show. Attraction Checklist is made possible by the Saturday Morning Media Patreon patrons. Not only do patrons get to hear these shows up to a week in advance before their release, they also get special downloads of just the recorded attraction audio for each episode, and they get exclusive bonus episodes about attractions from other theme parks. Consider becoming a patron today for as little as a dollar a month over at patreon.com forward slash Saturday Morning Media. And thank you for your support. My name is Grant Pachoco, and I invite you to join me on my quest to learn about and experience every Disney Park attraction I possibly can. This is Attraction Checklist. Welcome to Attraction Checklist. You know, I realized it had been many episodes since we'd visited Walt Disney World's Magic Kingdom, so that's where we're going for this episode. We are off to Fantasyland to ride the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh. The guide map describes this attraction by saying, travel through the 100-acre wood in an oversized honeypot, and that's H-U-N-N-Y. There are no age or height requirements for this attraction, and the thrill level describes it as a slow ride. Now, before we get blown away on a blustery day, here are five fast facts about the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh. 1. The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh opened at Walt Disney World's Magic Kingdom on June 4th, 1999. 2. The attraction replaced the incredibly popular Mr. Toad's Wild Ride that had been an opening day attraction at Magic Kingdom. Small nods to Mr. Toad are included in The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, including a painting in Owl's House showing Mr. Toad handing a deed over to Winnie the Pooh. 3. The ride vehicles for the attraction are motion enhanced. This allows for the floating sensation in the rain scene and the bouncing sensation when Tigger appears. 4. Many voiceover legends play parts in this attraction, including Jim Cummings as Winnie the Pooh, Tress McNeil as Kanga, and Paul Winchell as Tigger. This would wind up being Winchell's last performance of Tigger before he retired in 1999. And five. In 2010, the attraction was given a brand new queue area that features several interactive elements to occupy guests as they wait in line. Included in this is a treehouse play area, and if guests look closely enough at the carvings in the tree, they can spot a Nautilus submarine, a tribute to the classic Fantasyland attraction, 2,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Now let's ride the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh at Magic Kingdom, and after the ride, I'll give you my thoughts on this attraction. This is a binaural recording, so if you have headphones, put them on now as we head to Walt Disney World's Magic Kingdom to ride the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh. One day in the Hundred Acre Wood.
will save you, Piglet. Oh, oh, very good, wonderful. Oh, I wish you would have been a Piglet. And everyone gathered together to say, And there was the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh here at the Magic Kingdom. Um, what this ride has going for it is that it did not replace the Country Bear Jamboree. But what it doesn't have going for it is it did replace Mr. Toad's Wild Ride, which is a classic attraction, and I never got a chance. I don't... Maybe I did when I came here in junior high school, and I just don't remember, but a chance to go on Mr. Toad's Wild Ride because it had the two different tracks here at Magic Kingdom. And I want to think that when I came here with my family, we didn't go on it because we figured, oh, well, we have that in California. Why would we go on it here if it's just pretty much the same? Oh, if I'd only known. But getting back to Winnie the Pooh, um, this is a, it's a fun ride. Um, I actually like this version better than the California version, not because it replaced the Country Bear Jamboree, but because it's bigger. And I absolutely, my favorite part is Owl's House. Uh, during the windstorm and it just feels like you're being blown back and forth side to side and one of my favorite jokes in the ride is that Owl is just telling a story and then later on in the rain scene he's telling he's still telling a story uh, he just like kept talking he still sitting in his chair uh, I think it's uh, fun uh, I d the ending of the ride uh, is a little bit of a letdown when they get to like the party scene and then Piglet is the only kind of three-dimensional figure. Everybody else is two-dimensional and I, you know, except for Winnie the Pooh. But I guess that's just because they're turning back into the book, possibly. You know, like they were, they, they sprung out of life from the book and now they're coming back into the book because it's the end of the story. So... Uh, anyway, it is a ride that I usually will ride every time I come just because you can usually get a fast pass for it and uh, when everything else is out of fast passes, so I'll usually get a fast pass while I'm waiting in line for something else. And uh, as I said, I like it better than the California version um, at Disneyland, mainly because it replaced the Country Bears. I'm never going to get over that. Anyway, that's the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh here at the Magic Kingdom. Do you agree or disagree with our thoughts on this attraction? Or do you just want to let me know what attraction we should go on next? Send me an email at hello at saturdaymorningmedia.com or you can let me know via Twitter, where my username is ToasterBoy, or post on the Attraction Checklist Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash attraction checklist. This episode was edited by Stephen Staver. Attraction Checklist is a production of Saturday Morning Media and is made possible by the Saturday Morning Media Patreon patrons who've gone to patreon.com forward slash Saturday Morning Media and set up a monthly pledge for as little as a dollar a month. Patrons get new episodes before they are released, downloads of the ride audio recorded for each episode, and exclusive bonus episodes featuring attractions from other theme parks. If you'd like to support the show and the other fun content from Saturday Morning Media, become a patron. Head on over to patreon.com forward slash Saturday Morning Media and set up your monthly pledge today. You can also tell a fellow Disney fan about the show or leave the show a review on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get your podcasts. Thank you so much for listening. Attraction Checklist is copyright 2020 Saturday Morning Media Grant Pachoco Executive Producer. All rights reserved. www.saturdaymorningmedia.com You've been listening to Saturday Morning Media. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.